Hey guys, welcome back. So let's do a follow-up video. It's been a couple days that the boiler's been running. I think three days now, four days. So yesterday, yesterday morning, came out here, burned just fine throughout the night that it is. It had a little bit of coals left in there. It wasn't too cold in there, it was like 150. So it was practically, it wasn't really heating much anymore because it was just, uh, just coals. So I, th I threw a good amount in that in the morning. Uh, had to go to a tree job, so I wasn't really around. And then my sensors notified me probably three hours later, no, four hours later, that it uh, dropped below 140. So I thought that was kind of odd, right? I had okay coals in there. It wasn't the greatest. You know, it did its burn cycle first thing in the morning. Um, got up to temp, no problem. So obviously, I didn't really pay attention, but it was dormant for over two hours or so, two and a half. So when it started to try to heat, that all the coals were gone. You gotta remember, I'm burning basswood. It's just kind of junk right now. Or I haven't really established a coal bed, right? Like with like hardwoods. Which is kind of odd though, because I'm burning the same thing that I was burning the day before when I first started, but I had much smaller fires throughout. Now I'm kind of throwing in more wood. Um, Thankfully, I was working pretty close to home where I dumped a load of chips, swing swing by here, put the torch on it for, I don't know, 30 seconds. It started to you know, burn again, shut the door, walked away, left. 20 minutes later, I get a notification that it's already back up to temp, right? So that's good. Three hours go by, I get another notification that it's, it's getting cold again never reburned it just stayed idle for too long so got home around noon relit it and then it was fine the rest of the day when the wood started to get smaller and smaller it was fine so i, I just thought that was now they did burn fine the rest of the day and then last night it was all coals in there like phenomenal threw a bunch of wood in wake up this morning around six o'clock and I had a notification around 2 a.m. that it was out. It was cold, 140. Fly out here as soon as I wake up. All the wood I put in there is still in there, minus whatever it burned for the initial burn. Put a torch on it, lit it up, and now it's fine. And now it's slowly, uh, I'm just looking, I'm hoping that's like just steam coming out of the vent. Yeah. So, I hope so. But anyways, um, so yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. It's just idles for too long. So, I mean, I, like I said, I have the kiln wide open right now just to give it as much load as I can. I didn't, I, I shut off the attached garage, but I put that back on because it's still kind of cold. So that's running too. Um, yeah. I mean, I know a lot of it has to do that I haven't had a cold bed. This doesn't have like an idle timer like my G-Series to kind of keep a cold bed. <clears throat> it's just uh, not too sure why, you know, it's still going out even though the whole bottom is pretty much cold. So well, I'm assuming because it's just idles for two hours and it just doesn't run, right? So... I'm hoping that now that I have the house back on, like the garage, maybe I'll just throw smaller portions in there. But when I do throw like what I think is good for the day, and it like the first or second day when it when it burned throughout the day and it never went out, it was like the perfect amount of wood. It lasted about 12, 14 hours. So I know I'm throwing in the, the right amount. Maybe I'm loading it not properly i'm just kind of chucking it in trying to fill all the leave some air you know but <clears throat> fill enough where it burns evenly instead of just like one side versus the other so so i just threw a bunch more in right before i started this because it was practically just coals i could tell that it stopped really heating so this is kind of what we're we're seeing just a little bit that's just because I threw a fresh load in. So when this burn cycle's done, 
she won't do any of that. And to be honest, it'll probably fizzle out to nothing here shortly. So, is what are we at right now? Yeah, we're at 177. This was less than was five minutes. So that'll that'll turn off here in a, in a minute. So, and there was a lot of coals in there. And I'm working from home. I'm making wood all day today, so I should be able to somewhat monitor it. But I'm assuming. I really hope that's just steam. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it coming out of the vent. It should just be steam. It is windy, so I'm assuming that's why it's doing that. Well, it kind of looks like smoke, but it shouldn't be. So, if it is, I got a fucking leak in the... or a hole somewhere, but that's, I wouldn't think so. So, yeah. Other than that, it's been fine. Besides me having to kind of babysit it. I knew for the first couple days, I don't, there's like zero cold bed in there, right? So I kind of have to establish that. I'm hoping when I I get to like this, this is all hardwood, my cutoffs, you know, so is this little stuff there that I start to establish more of a cold bed. Most of this, yeah, this is actually somewhat decent wood here. Some hickory, yep, some basswood some oak in here this is actually this is oak so hopefully you know what this is this bag is next for today so i'm hoping i get better coals with that i mean there's some in there but i mean there's less than an inch of of coals in there it's burning pretty clean i did do the ash this morning as well just to make sure so this is what i got out of there this is all like the burnt off paint that's on the bottom i'm assuming this is paint. This kind of feels like a mesh. I'm wondering if I was supposed to take, there was something underneath the ash pan and that's what that was for like shipping maybe, but all that burnt off. You know, obviously the first couple days, all the paint on the inside peels off around the doors and whatnot, just like my last one, which I don't like, you know, cause it's been dripping, you know, condensation right out the bottom door. You can see how black that is. Not real happy about that. I got to get some type of container to catch that. It seals real nice. It's just the first day, obviously, with all that moisture from the first burn to get it up to temp, it condensates, which is pretty normal. So I'm, I'm assuming in the next couple of days, whatever moisture is sitting in that pan, because when I pulled out the two pans, it was, it was pretty wet. So, but I anticipated that. So, but yeah. Let me know if you guys think that's pretty standard on the first few days. Obviously, I know you got to establish a coal bed. I just knew in my G series, even if I fully cleaned it in one burn, I'm, I'm good on coals. But I was burning purely hardwoods. I wasn't burning junk. So she's an idol now, and it's just seeping out just a little bit. And it'll probably do that for five, ten minutes, and then it'll be fine. Even if it idles for an hour and I crack the door, there's still smoke inside, so I know it's pretty sealed. <clears throat> so, so yeah, so far so good. Uh, like I said, I even having the kiln wide open all night. When I say wide open, I mean where it's just nonstop heating because it needs to uh, just keeps calling for heat. But since it's so much hotter in the kiln, it's not drawing as much. It's drawing some, just not a lot. Because the first day. It reached my set point and then it just cycles. So it's on or off, you know, every five or 10 minutes, give or take. So it's not a constant draw. So, which I kind of figured would be somewhat of the case. But I'm, like I said, I'm assuming once I get a good cold bed in there, I should be fine. I just haven't had that yet. So it's kind of a fine line. So I'm, that's why I kind of have everything turned on. Today it's going to only be in the low 40s. The sun will be out. I'm hoping the house calls pretty much throughout the day. That's why I got the attached garage on. I may even turn the other garages on just to get more of a heat load on it. It kind of messes up how I have my kiln because I haven't redone anything yet. But if this continues, I will be redoing it sooner than later because I need to have more of a heat load on it. Or I just gotta have, I put smaller wood in there until I get a good established cold bed. So we'll see, I don't know. Other than that, I mean, she gets the temp fast. I mean, I came out here right before I started this, it was at 161. And within 
what, seven minutes, it jumped 20 degrees and it shut off. I mean, it's just crazy. She does overshoot the temp pretty good. I mean, we're at 182. I've seen it go all the way to 186, which, I, which is fine. My G-Series, I had it go up to 185 at all times. It may have crept one degree depending on how long it was burning, but <clears throat> that's fine. It, that's completely okay to do. I won't set it at 185. I might do that mid-winter when I have everything calling, right? Just to get a little hotter. We'll see. I, I may even bring it, I'll, I'll probably just leave it how it is for now, just because of, I'm gonna have the kiln going nonstop. So, so yeah, so far so good. Uh, a little frustrating when you come out here, there's still wood in there and you gotta relight it, but there's just no coals. So, I'll have to show you guys when I do refill it, when it is just coals. I mean, the whole bottom is lit up, you know? So I know it's, I just, it's my loading technique right now with, with no coals, I would think, I hope so. So, but yeah, so far so good. I'll probably get a water sample out today. It's been three days now. That should be good. I haven't added any water or nothing. She's holding just fine. So I'll uh, send that out probably Monday or so, a couple days from now. But yeah, so far so good. It's kind of what I expected. I mean, the, as far as the heat load goes, it's <laughs> obviously I don't have enough yet. I mean, I, pr I practically have nothing on here. So, so yeah, so far so good. Let me know what you guys think, if that's pretty common as far as, you know, not having a established coal bed yet. I mean, I barely have any ash in there. I mean, there's some, but not a lot. Um, but yeah, I haven't checked the top chamber yet to see if that needs to be cleaned, which I doubt since I just started it, but I'll, I'll probably check it maybe tonight or tomorrow, tomorrow morning, we'll see. But yeah, so uh, she's going good. Tomorrow will probably be, I'm not sure what we're gonna be doing tomorrow. It might be more of this, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, so far so good. You know, I appreciate all you guys' feedback on, you know, whether it would be, you know, the pumps or the boiler, what I should be doing. Um, obviously I figured out that that little pipe is for the shaker grates i kind of it dawned on me the same night that this you know is for here fits right on there perfectly so it just hit me i'm like you know what that's probably what it's for obviously it wouldn't go on any of these uh attachments or whatever for for the stove so but yeah um yeah so far so good but as always keep earning